What's going on YouTube? Justin Fuller here. Today I want to talk to you about the much anticipated 2023 Honda CRV. This will be the sixth generation that will be appearing in the Honda family as far as body style changes and what forth. Uh, now, I want to talk to you about some of the trim levels, some of the changes, some of the things that you're going to see as this vehicle progresses. So first off, let's talk about some general changes. The size of the vehicle is now going to be 2.7 inches longer, so eh, just a little bit, uh, and 0.4 inches wider. So nothing massive on that front. In the second row, you're now going to find some additional leg space. Not exactly sure on the exact measurements here, but when they pop up, I'll be able to produce a video and talk a little bit more about that. I will say that in the second row now, they are offering uh, the ability to recline the seats a little bit, so much like you would find uh, in some of the other vehicles that are out there in the third row, uh, much like the Fit, the HRV, and some of those vehicles used to do, you get that eight degrees of extra uh, turn. Uh, in the very back of the car, as far as cargo space-wise, you're going to be looking at 36.3 cubic feet of space. I will remind you, though, that they've changed the back end, so when you do flip the seats down, it's got a little bit more of that hump now, uh, so not quite as flat. So if you're going to be using it to go camping and stay in your car and things like that, be aware of that. It's not going to have quite what it used to, which is a little bit of a bummer to me, but hey, if, if, you know, in the grand scheme of things, don't know that that's a game changer. Uh, now, related to that, the front end has made some changes as well. The front end is going to be much larger now. It looks a lot more like the Pilot. You've got a larger grille, so taller and wider grille. And then you've got the LED lights that you're going to see typically that live on that Honda Civic. So a sleek lined uh, look. So the grille actually I think is a very good look to it. I think they've made some solid changes there. The rear end has changed as well. It's going to be a little bit more of a slanted coupe end that kind of gives that Euro fill. It's a little bit more cleaned up, which I do like. I think it gives a little sleeker look, which I think is what Honda's kind of that theme that they're going for. So be aware of that too. Now, let's talk about trim levels. There's a few different trim levels in the vehicle now. Now, the base model now is going to be the EX. So the LX is completely gone. So you're going to have your EX, and then you're going to have your EXL. Uh, and then on your hybrid side, you're going to have your Sport and your Sport Touring. So as they go in progressive order as far as getting more expensive, it'd be EX, then above that EXL, then above that Sport, and then Sport Touring above that. Now, there's going to be two different engine options, right? If you're in an EX or an EXL, you're looking at the standard 1.5 liter turboed engine, putting out 190 horsepower, so not a ton of changes there. If you're in the hybrid, you are looking at a 2 liter engine. Uh, all wheel drive is going to be standard on this vehicle, and you're looking at 204 horsepower. So this mimics a lot of what you'd see in like the Accord hybrid, as far as the engine goes, uh, with the exception of all wheel drive is going to be standard in these vehicles. Now, related to these engines, you're going to be talking about drive modes. Now, in the EX and EXL, you're just going to be looking at two different options, which would be Econ and Snow, right? Affecting shifting points uh, and acceleration to help you as far as proving gas mileage on the Econ side, and then Snow shifting points uh, to help increase traction control, right? Now, when you move into the, the Sport and Sport Touring, those hybrid models, you are going to gain that Sport Econ, or excuse me, Sport Mode. So it's interesting that the hybrid model is actually going to be the sportier version, right? They've kind of done some interesting changes here. Uh, in relation to talking about that, let's talk about wheels. Now, on the base model, you're going to see a 17-inch wheel. Now, if you're looking at the Sport or the EXL, you're going to be looking at an 18-inch wheel, and that'll either be a black wh uh, wheel on the Sport or the EXL, I believe, is going to be the gray. Uh, now, if you're looking at a touring model, you're going to be looking at a black 19-inch alloy wheel. Um, so, once again, the sportier side, the Sport and Sport Touring, you're going to have those black wheels, the larger wheels, uh, the all-wheel drive, the additional horsepower. So, it's kind of an interesting pull that they're doing this time. Now, as far as electronics, uh, some changes here. You're going to see a standard 7-inch display screen uh, living in the vehicle. But if you're in the EXL or you're in the Sport model, uh, you're going to have the option, or excuse me, Sport Touring of that 9-inch screen. Now, if you pick up the 9-inch screen, you're going to be looking at wireless CarPlay. Um, so kind of a nice option there. So when you're in that EXL, you're now going to have start to have some options, uh, which is going to affect pricing and kind of blur those lines that Honda typically has of just three or four different trim levels of a vehicle. Uh, so I'll be interested to see how the pricing lays out on this car, which isn't out yet, or I'll tell you a little bit more about that. Now, uh, let's talk about some trim levels. The LX is probably going to be arguably the, the, the most changes and probably the best bang for your buck um, as far as, you know, hey, what's different from previous generation to do. The LX base model is going to have that 7-inch touchscreen. You're now going to have a powered seat with powered lumbar. Uh, you're getting 17-inch alloy wheels. You're getting a moonroof standard. You have the 1.5 liter turbo engine with 190 horsepower. Nothing's changed there. Still cloth interior. You do have LED headlights. That front fascia is going to be a little bit different looking. You have heated mirrors, uh, smart entry, remote start, uh, Honda sensing, and of course, blind spot monitoring. So, 
arguably a really nice car uh, at, at your entry level. Now, when you go to that sport model, that next model up, uh, the things you're going to be gaining or adding on is going to be that standard all-wheel drive. You're now going to have a powered tailgate, which is kind of nice. Uh, those black 18-inch uh, alloy wheels, which is a nice look. It's also going to throw black roof rails up on the car, so much like you'd see on like a sport uh, or some of the HRVs and cars like that, that sport feel of throwing black on everything. Uh, you're going to have a leather shifter, leather steering uh, wheel, and leather uh, center console. So kind of that nice feel. It's the standard sport uh, trim package that you'll see in like an Accord Civic, all these cars, uh, as far as adding leather just to certain things, but not the seats. And then a six-speaker audio system. Now, from there, you can move up to that EXL. Now, at the EXL, you're going, you know, back to that 1.5 liter turbo engine instead of the two liter, right? And you're going to be uh, front and rear parking sensors, which is nice. You typically had to go all the way to touring models or add that on uh, in previous generations. Powered seat, powered passenger seat, heated front and rear seats, which you used to see uh, in your touring models. The option of that nine inch screen, uh, a wireless charger, eight speaker audio system instead of the six, uh, and then wireless CarPlay uh, with that nine inch screen, right? So the EXL is arguably what used to be, I would say, a, a touring model. Now, when you jump into the Touring, let's talk about what you have available to you. So it's standard all-wheel drive because it is that two-liter engine. You've got body-colored mirrors. The rear exhaust now is going to be integrated up into that bumper, so a very sporty look to it. Uh, you've got the 9-inch touchscreen standard, wireless CarPlay, wireless charger, Honda Sensing, heated front and rear seats, leather interior, uh, built-in navigation, which eh, you can leave or take with the wireless CarPlay and Android Auto, uh, a 12-speaker audio system through Bose. Uh, the car is set up with paddle shifters, 19-inch uh, black alloy wheels, rain-sensing windshield wipers, a hands-free tailgate, uh, and a rear camera washing system, which I don't know what that is yet. I'm excited to learn uh, what that is. If it's just a little sprayer that hits the washer, I have no idea. Uh, so that one will be interesting to, to see and kind of understand what it is. Uh, now, moving past that, probably one of the most important questions is, hey, if I'm interested in these, when can I buy one? Uh, now, the EX and EXL are expected to come out this summer, so the summer of 2022. If you are looking at maybe a hybrid sport, right, the sport hybrid uh, or the sport touring hybrid, uh, you're going to be looking into that fall of 2022, which is when you typically see CRVs come out in the fall. Um, so right now, that's what I've got to tell you about the 2023 Honda CRV. Please do comment on this and let me know if there's anything that I've missed or anything that you picked up that I just haven't learned yet, because I'm excited like you are to see Honda's number one seller and what they're changing on it. Uh, hopefully you'll hit the like button because I like to think that I do a pretty good job. And come on, it helps you too. We got to push this up, that algorithm, right? Uh, lastly, I hope that you will share this. If you've got any friends who are considering getting an SUV, because arguably it's one of the best SUVs out there in the market as far as sales-wise uh, and reviews. Uh, and then, of course, I hope that you will subscribe to the channel so that when I do have more information on this car, I can share it with you. Other than that, appreciate you tuning in. And later, guys!